Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, February 5th, 2013. We're very, very blessed to have in the studio with us Royal Teeth. This song is called Stay.
Royal Teeth, Audio Tree Live. Thank you. Beautiful, How you doing? You are. Beautiful. Hey, I'm, I'm really interested to hear from each of you in regards to the music that was playing in your household when you were growing up. Sort of the mu maybe music before you could choose what music you really wanted to listen to. What were your mother, father, sisters, brothers playing? We'll start over here with you, Josh. My mom was Tina Turner. Tina Turner all the way? All the way. His mom was Tina Dope, Turner. Dope, like private dancer style? Or was there uh, any was Ike Tina in there? Turner. Was there any Ike Turner in there? Or was it just uh, all straight post Ike? Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Son. Empowerment. And, and, and dad was Moody Blues. Moody Blues. Yeah. Hey, that's Pink a good Floyd That's a good so bass, dude. Yeah. Prog rock, soul singer vibe. Yeah. yeah. Dope. <laughs> Come on, let's go over here. Come on, Joshua. Lots of uh, Iron Maiden and Ario Speedwagon. Yeah. The Maiden. Yeah. Did you go? Were you were you privileged to go to any Maiden shows? Did no. Your dad ever take no, no. Go see Big Eddie. He went Eddie? solo. <laughs> he was like, got a babysitter and shit mm -hmm. for that. Right on. What? Anything else aside from that, or is that that's uh, what really leaps out for you? Lots of uh, like '80s hair metal from my mom, stuff like that. Right yeah. on. He likes to shred. Hell yeah. yeah. Poison and shit. <laughs> Dumb. Steve. Uh, well, we're from the south. My mom uh, is just nothing but country music, really. What kind of what kind of country, Stevie? Uh. The important kind, I guess. Uh, country music from the early 90s and the 70s. Okay. Uh, yeah. My dad uh, My dad was more uh, soul music. A lot of Van Morrison, Sam Cooke. Okay. Uh, even as early as, like, the Drifters and stuff. Dope. Yeah, yeah the, that's the bomb right there. That, oh, that country's the bomb. So you're talking, like, Billy Ray Cyrus, sort of Garth Brooks style? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the shoes, dude. Garth Brooks had some... Remember his gear, dude? He had the dopest <laughs> shit. That hat. That, like, he had a headset before NSYNC. Oh, dude. And that str those crazy cowboy shirts that were like nudie shirts, but like yeah. a whole nother level. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what was going on. It was like Miami Vice. <laughs> right on. My bad. I'm tangenting. Nora, how about you? Music in your house growing up? Um, my dad listens to pretty much everything. I think the Beatles are his favorite. So right I, I heard them constantly. And um, my mom loved the Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah, like the classics, yeah. FM radio style. Yeah. Dope. She Dope. loved the radio, or she still does, so. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Poe, how about you, man? Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat with those guys. Uh, a lot of country, uh, Eagles, classic rock, um, that kind of stuff, yeah. Yeah, man. Cool, man. Gary? I think I think my, uh, my stepdad really wanted me to become a metal guitar player, so... My first guitar was a BC Rich with the spikes. <laughs> my, uh, For my real? Yes. Whoa, my man. first show was 106.7 Enfest uh, with Papa Roach and Stained. And, uh, yeah, so I kind of had to get away. So I bought an acoustic guitar and I started playing folk songs. Okay. <laughs> Just, Dig I it. guess, a natural, uh, you know. Yeah, what were some of the first folk songs that you learned? Were you playing your own stuff? Or were you yeah, just kind of, I, I, I always had this weird habit of just making my own stuff, even if it was really bad. So I've always been kind of just into that. But uh, I mean, I, we all kind of listen to some of the same stuff, you know, like with, with a lot of the stuff that's inspired royalty songs, it's real like, you know, old soul music from anything from the simplest pop songs to stuff today. So you kind of take a little bit of everything as you go, you know. We I'm kind of glad I'm not doing that, but I can still shred every once in a while. I can play a lot of Metallica, but right that's on. about it. Yeah. Well, you can, you know, shave that for like the bootleg YouTube videos yeah. or something. <laughs> It's beautiful to have you in the studio with us. Thank you for coming in, Royal Teeth, and, and sharing your music with us. Thank, Thank you for, for having, having us. us. Yeah, let's just jump right into another one. Yeah, this next song is actually a, a cover song by a band called The Knife. It's called Heartbeats. <laughs>
Royal Teeth. Thank you. Audio Tree Live in Chicago. Hey, y'all, I want to hear about New Orleans and Louisiana and Lafayette and how, how all these places contribute to your band, the sound of your band, your songwriting. All yeah, of I, I mean, I don't think the average listener, you know, the person that would listen to our band would, would maybe peg us from being from New Orleans Well, or the it's South. no preservation hat jazz hall band, but that's not <laughs> what, you know, you're trying to be. It's all good. Right, right. I, de I definitely think there's a presence, in, especially when you see our live show and you come see us, there's a lot of energy and a lot of, I mean, first off, the drums and all that stuff. It kind of, I guess, natural inspiration from just, you know, when you're in New Orleans, there's people on the street constantly just hitting on whatever, just making music out of nothing, singing in the street yeah. and that kind of vibe. And we have a lot of that spirit with us. We you know a lot of just stuff to sing along to, easy stuff to chant, and easy stuff to play along to with drums and everything. So I, I really think just the spirit of the city kind of is with us more than the maybe the music itself. Yeah. So I no. think we kind of took that and kind of just made it our own. And, uh, and if, you know, we were at, at times we were all split between New Orleans and Lafayette, so we've kind of been everywhere down in Louisiana. So Dig it. What's the most comfortable place for you guys to play down there? Like you got, do you have a home away from home that you love to play, that you res reside in? I think um, Lafayette and Baton Rouge are our best I mean, Best bets I, down I, there. Even, I mean, I, I, yeah, I guess. Everywhere, kind of. Yeah. I know we, got, we got really lucky. We started playing a lot of shows and just splitting them up. So, like, one month we'd play New Orleans, one month we'd play Baton Rouge, one month we'd play Lafayette. And so we got really good at just, like, kind of sectioning off our markets when we needed to. So we kind of have a, I mean, we could probably have a great show in any of those yeah, places. those three are our favorites awesome. to play. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. When you're on the road, how do you guys decide who gets to DJ in the car? <laughs> Whoever's driving, I guess. Yeah, the driver. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much the undisputed best. So. <laughs> That's what he thinks. I mean, so, really Stevie, you're the driver? You drive most of the time? Um, I don't know. I, we, I, all, we, we, we all split rotate. it up evenly, we, really. We go in teams. We used to make him drive all the time, and then we just started feeling guilty about it. So we kind of started a rotation system that works around. We just make him park the van in uh, small spaces, basically. Yeah, Poe's po is so good at parking the van. <laughs> He's got a surly <laughs> smile over there. He's like, yeah, I am good at parking I jacked van. my foot yesterday trying to leave the parking lot. So don't, don't Do you guys have, like, hand. DJ names and stuff or anything? Or? That's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think so. We haven't thought about that. Right like on. individual DJ names? Yeah, you know. Well, he'd be Steve Time. Steve time. Steve time. DJ Steve time. time. Steve, Steve time goes time. big time. Hell yeah. I like that. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the studio with Royal T. This is Audio Tree Live. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you in here, you guys. Thanks so much. All right, we're going to go bang on some more drums. <laughs>
Royal Teeth. Thank you. Audio Tree Live, Chicago. All right, you all, we've, we've reached the cracky, kooky, crazy part of the session here where I ask you all, if you had to choose a life form other than human being, what life form would you choose to be? Animal, vegetable, oh mineral, God. science fiction, or fantasy? Do magical creatures count? Absolutely. Our well, only this one's not magical, so I take that back. Our only limitations are our imaginations. Who would be a vegetable? Just someone would eat you. Hey, we've had guys who like you know <laughs> want to be vegetables to like nourish their friends and stuff. I mean, I'd be a delicious vegetable. <laughs> and and trees and stuff. Cats want to provide homes for the birds that the rest of their band say they want to be. You know, you know, it goes all around. Some guys want to be volcanoes and destroy everything. Wow. I think we're a little more selfish than that. <laughs> Come on, we'll start with you, Gary. Life form other than human. I want to be an elephant. Yeah. Because they're just awesome. They live I love elephants. Yeah. yeah. They live for a long time. They're smart. They never and forget. And I could just like knock down a wall if I wanted to. Big time. They're faster than you think. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm going to call you Babar, dude. Woo. <laughs> That's dope. Poe, how about you, man? Oh, man, let's see. Of all the things. Hmm. On the spot, I'll go with a rock. <laughs> yeah, a rock. <laughs> Like a mountain or just like a little rock? Uh, you know, I'll start off as a mountain and break apart into yeah, several little dude. rocks. Let, the, wane, and let the rain and the weather break it down. Travel the world. Then you'll end up in someone's driveway, bro. <laughs> just be a cobblestone. Or a beach, dude. You know, or a beach. Driveway or beach. Negative Nancy over there. Nor <laughs> Nora, what about you? I would be a narwhal. Yeah. Like from the film, the uh, little Bill Farrell movie? Yes. The whale with the unicorn yes. thing? Yeah. Yeah, like it's I, a real thing. I've never met one. I haven't either. I, I'm down. Those, he's pretty dope. Yeah. He's, like seem, terif he's like terrifying, but nice. They seem pretty nice, so yeah. I, I would like to be one. Very kind <laughs> creature. I like the Norwal. Stevie? Um, I guess I'd be a bear the size of a blue whale. Yeah. <laughs> Just a huge bear. Would you be an ocean bear or like a forest bear? Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to be an ocean bear so yeah. I could go, I could come out of the water. And then, <laughs> yeah, dude, keep free balling, dude. This is dope. You could like swim with the salmons. We had a we had a, a a debate in the van one time, I think, between what would win between a bear the size of a blue whale and maybe um, a Komodo dragon mixed with a gorilla. That's what it was. Yeah. World's largest living lizard. Yeah. Komodo yeah. dragon. Yeah. I mean, that would be that's. I hope I'm around for whatever happens. <laughs> Dude, in the modern era, we can hook that gear up like some celebrity all-star bash or whatever. Yes. Yes. Maybe. I'll just be the Komodo mixed with the gorilla. <laughs> we can settle this right now. Okay. <laughs> I'll warn you, dude. I can go into the sea. <laughs> Joshua, man. What about you? Actually, what he was saying is... Segwayed into uh, my answer. It was going to be definitely be a Komodo drag. Komodo drag? No natural predators. World's largest living lizard. That's right. Yeah, but Nobody can kill me. <laughs> Except be for the so rock. ugly, dude. I would. That'd be Except cool. The living rock over there. Yeah, no, they'd be, you guys would be chilling. I'd still be undefeated <laughs> in the world of you reptiles. Up, you'd be hanging out. It's good stuff. Josh. I'd keep it simple with a house cat. Yeah. They've got a maid. There you go. They've got a maid. Any, uh, any uh, breed in particular? No. Just, just like a well-petted house yeah. cat. Spoiled. House. Yeah. Really yeah. The litter box. <laughs> make, make sure the litter box isn't full yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Dope. Thank you guys for sharing. Sharing your animal spirits with us here at Audio Tree. I know it's a crazy question, but it kind of you know makes everybody smile and loosens yeah. things up and stuff. We're in the studio with Royal Teeth. They're playing Shubas tonight, Chicago. Get your ass into the city. They're playing with Young Empires and Shut Eye, and then you guys got a heck of a tour coming up here, man. You're in Madison, then you come back and play JBTV. We love Jerry, man. Those those dudes are the best. Then you're in Buffalo, Colorado Springs, Denver, Salt Lake City, Missoula, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, L.A., Santa Ana, San Diego, Phoenix, Las Vegas, four or five shows in South by Southwest, Orlando, Atlanta, Charlotte, Virginia Beach, Teaneck, Manhattan, Boston, Toronto, Rochester, Cleveland, Detroit, and then you're back here April 2nd in Chicago, and then a hometown show May 3rd at Jazz Fest, New Orleans. Well, you guys you are it doing like it, baby. Sounds impressive. When you're beautiful, like yeah, beautiful, it beautiful. Very intimidating when you get that. Royal <laughs> teeth in the house. We're looking forward to the, the ones that start getting warmer. 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 <laughs> right? It all happens magically very quickly. Ooh, and then yeah. you're going to be like, dang, I wish it was chilly again. Yeah. It's actually been nice. We, have, we don't get to experience snow like this ever. Dope. So this, this tour was kind of the first time we really got to do it. So even though it's really cold, it's really fun at the same time. Right on. Well, it's just it's been a beautiful pleasure to have you in here today. Thank you again for coming in and sharing your music and vibe with us. Thank Perfect. you for having Thank us. You. Yeah, you got it.
Keith on Audio Tree Live. Outstanding, you all. Thank you so much. Outstanding. Thank you. You guys, your debut LP comes out in spring of 2013 on Danger Bird Records. Let's give that a little hype. Check in with these cats. Get them on Facebook. Get them on the internet. Hook them up. This band is not to be missed. Thank you, Gary, Norris, Stevie, Joshua, Andrew, Josh. Thank you guys all so much. Let's give our engineers a big round of applause. Rick and Patrick are always hooking it up. Our videographer is world class as well. Brian, Megan, Justin, Jane. Audio Tree Fellowship in the house. Michael, Adam, Lauren, Blake, Kellen like a mug. It's been a beautiful day, you guys. Thanks so much again for Thank coming you. in tonight. Chicago, get your ass to Shubas tonight and check these cats out. And if you can't make it, they'll be back here April 2nd. This has been Audio Tree Live for Tuesday, February 5th, 2013. We've been in the studio with Royal Teeth. My name is DJ Evil Vince. Everybody have a very safe and beautiful day. Treat each other right. Good night. Dudes!